That is a harrowing tale. <laughs> yes, keeps me up at night. That isn't the trumpet player squatting in my wardrobe. Yes, well, I'm sorry I couldn't be of more service to you. Oh, I'm trying here. But you don't seem to be bringing much to the table. Well, so far, all you've offered me is imminent death. And a shirt. Oh, 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 How would you like it if I invited you over to my home and tried to convince you to let me hunt you? With the best stuff. Yes. Please. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> you can't hunt me. I've got things to live for. I own a club. Um, I'm a member of a club. You can barely get a date on Saturday night. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry if my clinging to life is an inconvenience to you. But you must understand. Foxes in these parts don't live long. I know. My family's been hunted for generations. My mother was killed by a fox hunter and her mother before her and her mother before her and her mother. Well, she died of a rare form of fox syphilis. But her mother was. <laughs> Foxes live in fear and have come to accept that her own death as well. Inevitable. Not to me. I'm afraid not even of hunters with strange uh, pig digging and, and fruit fetishes. <laughs> Point taken! I did feel a little bad about that. Thanks. Do you miss her? Every day. Don't you want to see her again? Be with her in the fox after life instead of scudding around the glen alone? Might go on accidentally shooting those around you while you hold yourself up as some sort of inspiration to all fox kind. But I would think that's rather fair on all the fox ladies who are going to date you. Now, what say we end your solitude and I'll go grab my rifle and run it down your throat? Very well. Sorry. Fine. Were the adversary gracious victor, I yield. I am yours. Now get on with it before I lift the chair. Oh. Next week. <laughs> That's right, nice and light. Um, hey, uh, after this, we're still going to be cool, right? <laughs> uh, after I kill you, we'll still be tied, yes? You're about to ram a rifle down my throat. Of course, we're going to be cool. Oh? I will not beat you again, you tit! <laughs> because you're not okay with everything? Or because I'm about to, uh, to perforate your voice box? Both! <laughs> well, I don't know now. I don't want to feel guilty. You would not tell me. Well, ideally, I and you, you'd be alright with it, and then we'd just go on as normal. But now I have bowed your wishes at great personal sacrifice, and you have the goal. I was the goal. I just wish that I knew right in it. The deal is off. The deal is off. <laughs> Fine. It's a shame you couldn't settle this as gentlemen. Yes. I guess I'll just lick the chair. <laughs> what? Oh, it's my plan, he. If I couldn't convince you, I lick the arsenic chair with honor. You can't do that! Oh, it's what you want. I shall hunt you no more. No, no. I want you to stop hunting me because it's the right thing to do, not out of shame. <coughs> Goodbye, cruel worms. I shall miss the taste of pomegranates. Wait! Wait! Wait. I'll lick the chair too. No, you will not! This is what compromise the checklist for our right. No, I, I win if you die! No, no, you are only victorious if I die by your hand. But I am the fox hunter now. No, 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 no. Stop it! Stop, stop it! One, <laughs> two, 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 three! Damn good stuff, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you could settle that to uh, honorably as a gentleman. Yes. As am I. So, how long does it take for the arsenic to kick in? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, about three. <laughs> 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 